Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today is April 12th, 2021, and we are going to work on a new project. So I have extra plants here. So today, um, we are going to take this one outside, and I'm going to use my solar pump to grow a hydroponic plant uh, outside in the sun uh, using solar power. So uh, let's go ahead and go outside and begin the process. Okay, I just want to show off something before we begin. This here is a unit that I'm uh, growing the tomato in. Pretty much the same, the only difference is that this one is a, a cracky method, non-circulating. So there's no circulation, no bubbles, no nothing. And basically the plant is sitting there and it is growing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add circulation to the new plant. And uh, I may put it right next to here, but um, same exact setup. We're gonna grow it in a cup because I, ha I don't have any net cups. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is drill a hole onto the lid. Uh, you can buy these at Home Depot, the lid and the bucket. This is a five gallon bucket. And uh, this is a 51 millimeter hole saw and that would uh, fit a two inch net cup or the regular shot glass here. So that's the same size that so we're gonna drill it right here. Okay, so this is the center spot. It doesn't have to be exact, so it's just place it there in the center. Set the drill to go forward. And then once it gets attaches, then you set it to go backward. Okay, next we're going to have to put a few holes so that we can zip tie the cup to the lid because sometimes the plants grow big, then the wind would blow it over. So I usually put around three holes. I just use these little mini drill bits right here. All right, now we take our plant so that we can measure the holes so you push it down like that so here's our hole so we want to put a hole right there one right here okay and now just make sure you have a hole here be very careful because these cups are really soft. Just like that, see, it lines right up. And then we can zip tie it later. Okay, we are all set. So the last thing to do is make sure to drill a hole on the side for your air pump. Very simple. Okay, so now what we're going to do is add nutrients and we are going to use the Dynagro series. That's it, just Dynagro and water. No pH, no nothing. And we are going to use five milliliter per gallon. So this is a five gallons. So that's 25 milliliters or five of the teaspoons. And then here's water for my garden. So if you add the nutrients first and then spray water like that, it mixes it every everything up really nice. Okay, we are going to put the plant on top. We want the water level to touch the bottom of our net cup or just slightly above. That's all you need. This is a DWC method, so it doesn't matter, but you don't want it too much all the way to the top. And so we take our plant. And here's our zip tie. Okay, I want the zip tie down there instead on top. There you go. So uh, let's go ahead and fill the water up a little bit more. Okay, here is where the plant is gonna go. There's my solar pump there. The sun is out right now, so look at that. There's some bubble action going on. I may have to cover the top here with a, 
um, some foil because it will help block the sun but also the good thing with five gallon bucket is you can move it around but definitely have something on top here uh, to help reduce the heat okay it has been 24 days now and the plant is looking okay the weather has been crazy this year um, it usually doesn't get cold you know in april to may today is may 6 and it's still very very cool so um uh, it's it's been odd so we had cool temperatures and we had a lot of rain and we also had hail but um yeah that's all it's doing here in 24 days growing a little bit i think i saw a few fruits uh, i have not done anything to the bucket it's still exactly the same even with the rain and all that stuff so the plant in the back is doing okay look it's kind of like burning up right now because all of a sudden it got hot so it's wilting a little bit but uh, it should be okay uh, once um, it get adjusted but there's lots of fruits on, on that one already and I saw a few ripened one and the birds uh, came and ate a few but look at look at how many flowers these tomato produces so it's gonna have a lot and this one here has a fruit already maybe two see so it's gonna have more coming soon so the bucket is still exactly the, the same I haven't done anything there's probably rain has got in here and all that stuff diluting the, the nutrients but I, I'm gonna change it after a week but um, yeah it's, it's, it's doing okay so uh, we'll be back soon and I will give you guys another update okay we are on day number 40 and it seems like a lot of days but there's not much growth and that is because i started these very early and this year the weather has been really crazy uh, it's been a little colder than usual in april and may and then it also rained a lot so the past two weeks all all we had would just rain so um that is the reason why in that amount of days 40 days i have not done anything to the bucket i did not refill i didn't end it because there's just so much rain soaking everything and so um we're gonna still have a few more days of rain so i'm not going to do anything to the bucket so i'll, I'll wait until the sun comes out and then uh, it'll be uh, and, and then wait until it's consistently sunny that way i don't change the nutrients and then it get diluted with the rain so um yeah even with the diluted nutrients and really not much feeding the plants it's still doing very well so look at all of those flowers over there see tons and tons of flowers oh and uh, i just saw a um, tomato hornworm egg i just picked it off but uh now that it's warm we're going to see oh actually here's one right here you see that that is the hornworm's egg so now they're gonna start coming out because it's nice and warm now so we're gonna have to watch for those guys because one of the worm can actually eat half of the, the, the plant <laughs> so yeah I'll, I'll change the nutrients in a few days uh, when when the rain is not around anymore <laughs> so uh, we'll be back soon okay today is day number 41 and we are going to change nutrients so before we change it i'm going to show you some of the fruits that i forgot to show you yesterday you see so we have a good amount of fruits over here and there's lots and lots of flowers coming out so we're going to have more very soon and then the plants back there there are lots of fruits too you see they're all down on the underside over there okay so uh, we're gonna make this very simple because if it's not simple it's not gonna be fun anymore so what we're gonna do is take a second bucket and we're just gonna lift that and then move it over here and then we're gonna fill this up so uh, let's go ahead and do that okay so first what we're going to do is remove the air stone and then put it into the new bucket and we're going to lift this up and just move it over take the old bucket away and 
now we're going to fill this up. So before we do that, we're going to add some nutrients. And because the plant is fruiting, I'm going to add some cow mag to it. So we're just going to add uh, five milliliter per gallon. And here is water for my garden. Okay, so I fill it up to about half and now it's time to add some uh, of our next nutrients and we're going to use the bloom series because our plant is blooming and we're doing the same five milliliter per gallon and take our hose and then fill up the rest And that is it. And our air is running right there. So we're all set and good to go. So uh, we will be back uh, once there's more progress. Okay, welcome back today. We are on day number 51. And it has been 10 days since we changed out the nutrients. And the past 10 days we have rained like crazy. So the bucket is just like filling up with, um, with rainwater and i just left it as it is we have uh, sun today so the the pump is working so uh yeah the plant is doing great regardless uh, of all of the the rain we had uh, lots and lots of fruits and we had some that are ripening up right here and uh yeah everything is looking really good and uh, you see all of the fruits we have here i think there are more fruits than we have leaves <laughs> so they're just fruits everywhere and here is the nutrients so you see that in 10 days uh, usually they would drink a lot more but it's because we have so much rain that the rain the rain kind of like filled this bucket up all over again so uh yeah nothing's been done since we changed the nutrients and uh, the pump is working right now everything is looking great so i'm going to end the video right here uh, growing hydroponic tomato outdoor is very easy using solar power if you want uh, if you have a pump that uh, you can leave outside that would work as well but uh i think the the best way to grow tomato is a dwc method because uh, they drink so much and uh, using the cracky method you're gonna need a huge huge reservoir um, that way you don't have to refill and when you refill you have to like refill to like a certain amount uh, that way you don't drown the plants it's, it's a lot more work than uh, I would like so DWC is the best best I'll just let it drink all the way down or so or half whatever then I'll just come out and fill it up and the pump here would take care of everything for me so uh, the plant is just doing wonderfully so I hope you enjoy the video so far and if you have any questions or comments please leave it below and thank you so much for watching